Hey guys, it's Ishani, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. Long time no lip swatch video. So today we are going to be talking about a new exciting drugstore lipstick release by Maybelline. These are the new Intimats nude lipsticks. Maybelline always kills it with their lipstick game and I always am on the hunt for the newest colors. So when I saw this line, I actually picked these up from Walgreens for about $7.99 a piece. Um, I knew that I wanted to come on here and show you guys the colors I picked up. As far as I know, this new lipstick line is permanent and it will be available at pretty much all drugstores soon if it's not available already because these aren't super, super new. They've been out there for at least a month now. There are 10 shades total available in the collection. I only have five of them to show you guys today. And the reason for that is because I felt like the other five were quite light for my skin. Because the point of this collection is for all of the colors to be a nude or a neutral shade, Maybelline did do an excellent job with including a bunch of nudes for a wide variety of skin tones. So because of that, I knew that the lighter shades would not particularly flatter my tan complexion. So I picked up the five shades that I knew would work on my skin, but just know that if you are lighter, there are five other shades that are lighter than the five I'm going to show you that could work for you as well. Now in terms of the packaging, you guys know exactly what to expect. It comes in a classic Maybelline plastic lipstick tube. It up there you have the actual product it's got the label with an approximate shade color on the bottom I do like the Maybelline lipstick packaging overall I think for the price of it at least it works very well now before I jump into talking about the texture and the color payoff and the formula of these let's go ahead and just jump right into the lip swatches so I can show you all five of these on my lips as well as up close on my skin tone so you know exactly what they look like this first shade we have is Naked Coral and this is a medium light peachy toned pink color and this is pretty much as light of a peachy pink as I could go for my tan complexion. Next up we have Raw Chocolate and this is a beautiful true toffee brown type color. It's that color that I feel like just reminds me of those hard toffee candies. It's so pretty. Almond Rose is that perfect rosy mid-tone pink color. I will say that this is a shade that for my skin tone I would prefer to wear with a slightly darker lip liner. Something like Mac Spice or Mac Sore would look really pretty with this. Toasted Truffle is one of my favorite shades in this entire line. It is a beautiful darker brown color with a true like pinky mauvey undertone to it. It's such a gorgeous nude. And then finally we have my favorite shade out of all of the ones I picked up. This one is Brown Blush. And this is the only one out of at least the ones that I picked up that has more of a cool undertone. The other ones were very warm toned. This is a true medium dark mauvey purple color. It's so pretty. It's very trendy, but still in a classic way. I love it. So I hope those lip swatches were helpful to you guys. Please don't forget to thumbs up this video if it was. Now let's go ahead and discuss the formula because going into these, I didn't quite know what to expect. I knew the collection was called Intim Matte. So I knew, okay, let's go into it expecting a matte formula. I didn't know exactly how these would compare to the Maybelline Creamy Mattes, which we all know I am completely and totally obsessed with. And to be perfectly honest, I would say that these are pretty much the same formula. If there are any differences, they're very, very subtle. These go on very, very creamy, very opaque in one swipe. There's absolutely no tugging on the lips, at least the five shades that I have, none of them look ashy or patchy or streaky. Now granted, I do have the darker shades in the line, so I don't know exactly how the lighter shades, the ones that have more of a white base, tend to be a little bit streakier. Since I haven't tried them, I can't say that 
as fact. To be perfectly honest, after trying these out for a couple weeks, I kind of feel like this is Maybelline's version of a shade extension on their creamy matte formula that is just all neutral colors. I mean, their creamy matte formula is one of my favorite drugstore lipstick formulas, not just by Maybelline, but just in general at the drugstore. So I feel like it was kind of a natural progression that Maybelline would release a neutral nude shade extension because these are the types of colors that most of us tend to reach for day to day. So to finally see that and to see it done so excellently with the beautiful formula that we all expect from Maybelline was really exciting. In terms of the wear time on these, I will say that these don't wear quite as long as some of the colors from the original Creamy Matte range, particularly the brighter or darker shades, because those do tend to leave a stain behind, and because these are a neutral nude color range, naturally they're not going to leave any type of immense stain. I can definitely get these to last a good four to five hours, maybe even longer, especially if I use them with a lip liner. But if I'm eating or drinking, they will tend to fade. These do touch up very, very nicely, super effortlessly. I mean, the formula on these is just as good as any high-end lipstick I've ever used. They're just available at the drugstore and they're available in so many different colors now. Maybelline kills their lipstick game and these are just one of the many Maybelline formulas that I'm in love with. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say on these. I feel like this was a super quick video, but I'll just say if you love the Maybelline Creamy Mattes, you will absolutely love the Maybelline Into Mattes. I'm so happy to see such a wide neutral color range and so many shades that actually work on a tan or darker complexion like mine. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the bell because that is the little notifications button to give you guys notifications whenever I upload a video. And I will talk to you guys in my next video on Thursday. I will see you then. Bye!